Yeah, so after joining the table uh, by the employee ID, I import the data into the modules and create these two graphs. The first one is the uh, relationship between the sick leave and their body conditions. And the sixth one is uh, between the sick leave and their uh, sports testing results. So I try to uh, filter out, I try to choose the people who apply a lot of leaves. Wait a moment. Okay, this is better. And similarly here. So as you can see that, surprisingly, all these people who apply a lot of leaves, they do not necessarily have a bad health condition. Actually, they are quite average out. And similarly, yeah, for their sports testing results, they do not, we cannot see that they did poorly in the sports testing. So these are our first insights. And secondly, we want to see that is there any relationship between the sick leave and usage. So we yeah, create this graph in Tableau. So when we did this, we choose the dimensions. Yeah, and dimensions here. So it creates a, a graph like this. And as you can see that the people who apply a lot of leaves does not necessarily who, uh, use a lot of money. And the people who have used a lot of money, a lot of people like this, some of them only apply you know, one, one day, two day, or three days leaves. So it's a quite interesting insight. And thirdly, you will create a dashboard you know, to, uh, uh, with a filter function to show that. Wait a moment. Camtasia will export it, then give you a button to view it in Finder, where you can open it by double clicking. This particular project art. might take a few minutes to and export, we so we'll hold off on trying that out now. As I mentioned, you could stop here and have a complete video. However, Camtasia X. also provides you with a fully featured editor to help you improve your screencast. Let's go through some of the basics of editing that will help you clean up your recording and zoom into parts that are most important. There are several ways to remove mistakes from a recording or any media in a project. So, we'll cover two of them here. The Let's start with trimming the edges of media, since that's simplest. On the timeline, where you'll arrange your clips and do most of the editing in your video, just mouse over the edge of a clip and notice how the cursor changes to an arrow, and then click and drag. You can also use this technique to resize the length of a media, including annotations. Okay. Your turn. Hit pause and use trimming to remove this cough yeah, this from the cough. recording. So <coughs> Click play when you're ready to continue. If you've trimmed that cough out, you'll notice it left a blank spot in the video. Yes, the so I'll show you another way to remove a segment of media so that closes the gap. To, uh, Just place your cursor things. right before the part you want to remove, okay. so hold the our, shift key, then our, click and our, drag to make a selection. Insects. You, you can also watching. drag up or down to include clips on multiple tracks. After you let go, you can also adjust the edges of the selection. Then, right-click and choose Ripple Delete Range. To have everything to the right on those tracks, shift in to fill the gap. Click pause and try it for yourself by removing um, the two ums in um, this section. Click play again when you've done that. You can find more tutorials about working and editing on the timeline by right-clicking in an empty spot and choosing Timeline Tutorials. Now, earlier, I mentioned that you could add your recordings, as well as audio and images, to your screencast. You can do this by going to the Media Bin and dragging the item to the canvas, which is this big section here where you're previewing this Getting Started project. Or you can drag it to the timeline. In this case, drag the audio great clip to the timeline here. Pause the video until you've done that. Finally, let me show you how to make details like text more crisp and legible by using zoom animations. Let's take this area for example. If I'm talking about it in my screencast, 
I should zoom in there so the viewers can read the text. And so everything else currently showing doesn't distract them from what's important. To add a zoom animation, go to the Animations tab and drag the Zoom In animation to the recording you want to zoom in on. It will be represented by an arrow on the media clip. Then in the canvas, drag your video until the correct area is showing. You can also change when the animation starts or ends and how long it lasts by dragging the middle or the dots at each end of the arrow. Click pause now and zoom in on this part of the screen for me. Then click play again. Excellent. Now pause and drag the zoom out animation to some place later in the clip to see what that does. Notice how it scaled the video to fit everything in the canvas? That's great for giving viewers a larger context. All right, after you practice the basics, be sure to check out the tutorial viewer to learn even more. Go to the help menu and choose tutorial viewer. Take a bit of time to explore the different videos, articles, and the Camtasia course. These will be invaluable in helping you create excellent videos that communicate and teach. Now try creating your own project. To start, go here to the file menu and choose new project. Thanks and happy screencasting.